Hi guys, so you want to start selling your arts and crafts online, right? And you've just realized that there is a million and one things you need to do. But I'm making this video to show you there is six essential things that you must do um, right now. So um, crack on, watch the video. Uh, this is part one, part two will follow. Thank you very much. See you soon. So welcome everybody and um, I've come up to this lovely little uh, woodland area in Somerset and to talk to you about things that you will need to do if you want to sell arts and crafts online. Now I'm not talking about like um, if you want a shop front this is completely different. This is solely those people who want to sell um, their art and their crafts online. Um, this can include things like their sculptures, uh, driftwood art, uh, paintings, uh, but it's predominantly crafts people, so paper, paper crafts, that sort of thing. And just to give you a little idea of where I am, that beautiful carving of an owl there. One day I may make something like that hopefully soon. Um, so the first thing you need to think of really is a name. Now you need to do quite a bit of research into this. Uh, don't make the same mistake I did. Um, I first started off with uh, a name called Enchanted Art Studio and uh, we then started to do Driftwood Art so we kind of wanted to have a professional brand so we went with Driftwood Art Designers and then as our business progressed we um, needed to rebrand again because we were starting to do other things not just Driftwood, we were starting to do carvings and furniture and uh, upcycling. So um, I chose the name Love Upcycled in the end because it was simple and we love upcycling basically. And we hope you love upcycling as well. So yeah, you got to think of a name. And when you do your research for your name, you need to be looking at your social media accounts. You need to be looking at um, a domain name. Uh, etc because it's all to do with the brand now you hear a lot about brand and it can get quite confusing but branding basically is everything a viewer sees in relation to the name and the concept of your business oh look there's another little wood carving there can you see a little fox So yeah, do do a bit of research because you know if you if you pick a name that's quite generic, you're going to find that you're going to struggle uh, getting the URLs for Facebook, the URLs for YouTube. Tw your Twitter name's going to be taken up. Um, so think of a a good name first, and like you know, yeah, a name needs to be. Um, it needs to be simple, but it doesn't, you don't really want it to be cheesy, you know. Um, somebody said to me once, why don't you call your business Farts and Crafts? Uh, really? Come on, you can't, it might sound funny at the time, it might sound, you know, brilliant, but will your viewers really want to go to a website called Farts and Crafts? No, I don't think so. So be quite choosy about that. The next thing you need to do <clears throat> is you need to buy your domain name. Now, I recommend that you buy two domain names. The first domain name being a .com. 
um, and the second being uh, with a, a prefix that's relative to your country. So I live in the United Kingdom, so my prefix is uh, .co.uk. So we have two websites, loveupcycle.com and loveupcycle.co.uk. Now, why do you need two URLs? Well, if you're going to be selling arts and crafts online, you're going to want your own website, and we'll be coming to that. That's one of my points. So you're going to want one of those domain names to be used for your e-commerce, for your shop, and the other one to be used for blogging. Right, that brings me on to number three. <clears throat> You need to start your blog now. If you wait until you've got all your products made and you've got all your branding sorted and all your printing sorted and this could take six months, this could take 12 months, uh, you just never know how long it's going to take. I mean, for us, it took nearly a, a year and a half. <clears throat> and that was a year and a half wasted um, where we could have been writing about our art, writing about relevant content on our blogs, and basically engaging with viewers. Now, you can't engage with viewers if you're not talking to them. So, or engaging with viewers, I mean, customers, really. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I'm saying viewers, I suppose, is because I'm doing a YouTube video right now, and you're the viewer. Um, but, yeah, you want to engage with your customers. So, you need to be thinking about your blog the next thing or part of that really which ties in with your URLs is your online shop now the reason why you need to get your online shop going straight away is because there's things that you can be putting on it that's not product related you know, you can be putting on your payment information, you can be putting on your facts, you know, uh, how long will my delivery take kind of information. You can be filling out your bios for your about page, you can be creating your home page, and whilst all this stuff has been done, right, Google will send these little things called spiders all over your website, and they will know that you're there. Now, it takes ages for Google to rank you, you know, somewhere where you're gonna be found. Because let's face it, if you're on page 1,095, you ain't gonna be found. If you're on page one to 10, then the chances are you're more likely to be found. Now, the way you get found is by writing relevant content frequently and constantly. So that's the reason why that is in one of my top six most essential things. Get your websites up and running. Uh, another thing that ties in with that is advertising because if you're running arts and crafts, we're not millionaires, you know, we haven't we, we do this job because we love it. We don't do this job because we want six-figure salaries, that's for sure. So, you've got to... You've got to... Get your website on. Unless you can afford, like, £2,000 a month in advertising fees, um, which you would need to pay to Google to get your website up, in, up front and up there. Um, most of us haven't got that kind of budget and do you know you can try doing a 50 pound a week budget it just doesn't work you're just throwing that 50 quid down the drain so get that started um, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did I will be doing lots more so please subscribe here and uh, check out our website www loveupcycle.com if you want to have a look at our products check out our blog which will be featuring these videos as well and that's www.loveupcycle.co.uk 
You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest just by clicking the social media buttons on our channel. Um, if you like what you see, please give a like. Um, please give a comment. I will try and reply to all comments. And take care. Till next time. Mm -hmm.